Hi, Lines. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good to see you. How is everybody? Ready to begin. <laughs> what was that, Lorena? I didn't hear you. Ready to begin. Hey, that's it. That's the spirit. All right, good. I'm glad to hear that, Lorena. Excellent. Okay, good. All right, guys. Um, I'm I'm really happy to be able to see you guys again. How are you enjoying this wonderful weather? Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my turtle. So yeah, your turtleneck. You're wearing a turtleneck. Yeah, turtleneck. Yeah, I can see. I, I can see Carla also is with her hoodie, <laughs> all all nice and warm. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Okay. Sorry, what was that, Lorena? It looks like she is in another country because she's with with the thing. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, she. She's in another country. You would never guess. You, you too, Lorena. You look like you're in another country too. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, how is the weather by your house? Is it is it very um, is is it very cold right now, or is it hot? No, it's cold and wind, windy, windy. Yeah, windy. Yes. And anybody, anybody is like um in San Miguel right now? No, <laughs> no, no teacher. Okay, I'm asking because um, in my other class, I have this girl that's from San Miguel, and she was telling me that in San Miguel, the weather is at 34 or 35, <laughs> and I said, oh my goodness, 34, 35, and she says, yes, and, and I say, but, you know, what? what is it normally over there right now, like during the day, if it was a normal day, she says, oh, it's like 38 or 39 and it feels like it's 40. I was like, oh my goodness, it's horrible. <laughs> right? so, um, but I said, you know, at least it's not 40 degrees. At least um, it's 34, right? So it's a little bit better. <laughs> so poor people from San Miguel. Oh my, yes. Um, all right, so how are you guys? How are you doing? More or less? Well, they have bad news. Um, a relative from my husband died. And that, I will thank for that. Uh, because I, I was uh, helping them to go to the hospital, to do the best things for, for him. And I, I never think that he could die because he was had a pneumonia and no, pneumonia pneumonia okay pneumonia and he has to go to El Salvador hospital because no any no other hospital want to receive him and we don't know what happened because he doesn't have a coronavirus and now he died today he died he died and that's I'm so sorry to hear that, Lorona. I really am. That that's horrible. Um, was he a very close relative of your of your um, husband? Primo hermano. Is that what you said, primo hermano? I I say primo hermano. 
así, en, en, en español, we say primo hermano, but in English. Yeah, in English, we really don't use that expression so much. We just say cousin. Um, and if it's like primo lejano, it would be more like um, a, a cousin in second degree. Yeah, so it, so you say in Spanish, I think it's uh, primo en segundo grado. I think it is, something like that. Um, so in English, it's uh, it would be um, cousin in second degree. But other than that, all the other ones are cousins, simply cousin. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I'm very sorry to hear that. Yes, um, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, well, I'm. Your well, um, your your husband's cousin may not have had COVID, but um, that is a reality for many people. And um, I told you guys that I, um, my other job, I have to be interpreting for 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 doctors and nurses. And um, I have to listen to many, many cases there of um, people that are very sick with this virus. Some people are not that sick. Some people may not feel that much, that many symptoms, and that's great. They're lucky ones. But there are many, many people out there that are dying. And if they're not dying, they are almost at the end of their life. It's it's horrible so we we have to really continue taking care of ourselves you know this virus has not stopped it's it's there so we gotta we gotta continue being very careful yeah and i'm very sorry to hear that um you know in in yeah just just um you know just a a, a reminder lorena keep safe um if you're going to be going to the funeral uh just be very careful, right? You don't want to, um, you don't want to be sorry later, right? So just be very, very careful. Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, um, to begin with, what we're gonna do, um, I assigned some homework for you to do, um, and I we're going to be sharing with your classmates uh, some of this homework. Um, let's see, give, just give me one minute. Um, okay, so, um, I, I have a question. Um, I saw this, I saw this question about, um, the 1.13 section in the WhatsApp group. But I didn't understand if you, if who, I didn't, I don't know who, who asked the question, but um, I don't know if that's clear or if you guys have any questions about it still, because I wasn't clear about the, in the conversation, I wasn't clear if the answer, if the question had been answered or not. Fui yo la que preguntó. Oh, okay, great. Ah, okay, pero great. no. Es que lo voy a decir en español porque no, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés, pero eh, era de, de hacer la suma de cuántos puntos daba, de qué tan healthy es uno, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero no había nada que poner ahí, solo era de, de hacer la puntuación y pasarse a la, a la siguiente activity, o, o, o no. So, you, what you're asking, uh, Karen, is if you have to, um, if you just have to tally up the points. Is that, is that what you're asking about? Repeat again. No, 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 no. Okay, my question, uh, well, better said. So, Karen, you, you want to know if all you have to do in that section is to point, to put the amount of points. Yes, exactly. Is that correct? Uh -huh. This is my question, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let me find out for you. Um, I To be honest, I haven't been able to look at the question yet so let me find out for you and i'll let you know by the end of the class okay does that sound okay okay that's fine mm -hmm. perfect okay all right so what we're going to do at this moment is the following um i signed you for homework 
for you to write the five questions with did and five questions with was, right? Okay. Um, and um, with the questions here, I'm going to be putting you into groups and I want you to be asking your partner these questions, okay? Um, so remember, with did, did is with all the other verbs. Uh, for example, with, um, a, you know, well, basically 99.9% .9 of the verbs, okay? Except for be, okay? So we're always going to start with did you blah, 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 right? Um, and just as a quick a quick reminder, I'm going to write this on the board just to make sure that everybody understands perfectly and remembers how we're supposed to do it. Okay, so I taught you yesterday that for questions, we're always going to start with, um, with did, right? Independent of the subject, it's always going to be did. Okay. All right, um, and then after that, we're going to put the the subject, okay, whatever subject you want, okay, and then after that um, goes the verb, and remember the verb is in what form? Who remembers about that? In the present, present form. Sorry? Base form. That's correct. The verb in the base form. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And after that, um, if it's necessary or you want to, you can add the complement, right? But it's not necessary. Not all not all of the questions need a compliment right okay um and of course then we have the question word uh, sorry the question mark because you know it is a question after all um see see okay so there you go so that's how we normally are going to make questions. Like this is like I said before, 99.9% .9 of the time, that's what you're gonna be using. And then when we have the verb to be, please do never say, for example, did you be? For example, did you be? Or did he be? Or did she be? Or did we be? No, that's impossible. It's absolutely impossible to do. So the only thing we're going to do with this one is we're going to start with was and were or sorry, but it said was or were. Okay. And then the same thing, we're going to start with the subject is going to be um, okay, the subject. Um, but in this case, we're not going to have a verb in the base form. Why? Because we already have a verb. Actually, the beautiful thing, I say, and I say beautiful because um, it's, it's interesting to know that was is both a auxiliary and a verb. Okay, so it's a auxiliary and a verb at the same time. Okay, and of course, um, we're going to have the complement here. And in this one, this one's a little bit different because um, with the was or were, we are going to need a complement um, simply because it doesn't make sense if you just say, oh, well, it can, but it's not very common to say, for example, were you or was he? <laughs> okay, so it's not, it's not very common. Normally, we're going to have a complement because it makes sense to put a complement with be verb to be so that's most of the time like maybe i would say i don't know 90 percent of the time we're probably going to be using a compliment okay so this is just a quick uh, reminder of what we saw yesterday okay um anything you want to ask before we move on
you have just to, to read the, to make the question? No, no, no. I just want to know if you have questions about this or is this clear? No, that, that's true, yeah. Okay, good. So, um, okay. Uh, Mauricio have, has asked about the example, did I fall, fall this exam? Um, the structure is correct, Mauricio, absolutely. Uh, just be careful with the verb. It, I think you wanted to put fail, not fall, because fall is de caerse. Fail is reprobar. So just just be careful with that one. But yes, that's correct. Yes. So if you say, did I fail this exam? That's perfect. Okay. All right. So we're going to stop there. I'm going to. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing there. And I'm going to get you guys to working in groups. Oh, I don't know what happened to our rest of our class. I have no idea. Um, Um, just a question. I don't know. I, I'm not sure who who sent me a message about a document that you can send. I don't know. Anybody here has sent me a, the message? Because I, I I see in the WhatsApp group that somebody uh, sorry in the WhatsApp in my WhatsApp personal WhatsApp that somebody has sent me, but I can't. I don't know who it is. Nobody in this class right now. No. Okay. All right. Okay, then I'll just answer in the WhatsApp. <laughs> okay, so in this case, uh, I'm going to sign you guys. Um, okay, so here we go. Let's open the groups right now. Um, okay, here we go. Go ahead and join your groups. No, I didn't. I didn't okay. went. I didn't go. Okay. It was no, no, it's a no. Sería no. Um, was he sick yesterday? Mm, I mean, does he was? I think. Okay. Uh, were you very serious? Serious? Ah. Uh. Hey. Were were you very serious? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, remember, um, sorry. Remember that Carla's question is were were you serious? So you have to answer with the same. You have to say so if she says were that's from the verb to be. So you have to answer yes I was or no I wasn't. All right. No I was. Okay. Okay, there you go. Una pasada. Did they go to the to the stadium? Eh, 
did, did, did they go to the stadium? Si ellos fueron al, al estadio. Stadium. ¿Eh? Did you visit your friend yesterday? Is past visit as base form? Is uh, 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 example? And you? Uh, okay. Uh, did you go to a school last week? Yes. Uh -huh. Did you? Did you class yesterday? Did you? Did you class yesterday? Amber? Am? El verbo. El verbo. Did you? Did you have? Did you have class? Uh huh. Yesterday. Okay. Uh -huh. Did you have class? And did you go shopping tonight? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, second, second. Try to answer. Um, try to answer with a short answer. So not just yes, but yes, I did. For example. Yes, I did. Uh, ah, ok. Uh, 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 eh, es, hay que dar la respuesta entonces. Yeah, exactly. You have to, it's question and answer. So you say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Et cetera, et cetera. Ok. Entonces, eh, comencemos. <laughs> es are you, if you want. Did you do, did you do last night? Pero que hice yo la última noche? Anoche. I, 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 um, I did, uh, I, I studied, porque ahí ya va en, 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 en pasado. I studied English. Uh -huh. uh, but I think you have to put what in the in the al principio uh, de la sentence uh, because if you want only say did you do last night uh, es como no sé siento que no tiene no tiene este como como sentido porque sería como hiciste la última noche el qué uh -huh. entonces yo siento que debería de ir what what did you do pero si usted gusta hola teacher ahí está todavía hola <ríe> es que esa es mi pregunta porque eh, no sé si Uh, something happened. Um, hello. Hello, Jose Arturo. Can you hear me? Your microphone. Yeah. Can hear you. Okay, great. What we're doing right now is we are asking our classmates um, questions um, right now about the questions from the homework. Okay, so you can work with Anna Menhiver and okay. you can um, ask her the questions that you did for homework. The, the five questions with did and the five questions was what, was, what were. were. 
Okay. And the seven, the seven sentences about me and the, and the simple past. Not, not yet, not yet. Just, just that, okay? Only the, the questions, okay? All right, so go ahead. Work with, uh, with Anna. Okay. Hi, Anna. Good night. <laughs> Good, <Hi>. evening. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Um, sí, porque si no la está mandando a irse a acostar. Sí, a dormir. <laughs> If I came came later to from work. <laughs> okay, where are my homework? Okay, Anna. Um <laughs> can you start please? Can you hear me, Anna? Did you pay the pizza? Or continue? The Mauricio? Continue? Did, we don't want to continue. Did, 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 Did you know? Did you know? The exercise. Okay. Tell me. Did they go to a child on vacation? Didn't they tell you? Nancy, Jesse, Jenny. <laughs> Let me see. Did, did he did he ask a question? Okay. Now me. Did you get married last Saturday? Did you study English that night? Mm -hmm. Jenny? Um, did you know play the guitar? Did you know Oh, did it? Did yes. you feel? Yes. Did you feel hot in the morning? Uh -huh. Did you feel? Feel. Okay. Um, Karen, did you feel hot in the morning? No. It was very mm -hmm. cold here. Okay. Yep. You? Do you feel cool right now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool. Very cool, yes. I, so, I I live mm -hmm. in la I live in la cima en la cima la cima San Salvador and mm -hmm. in this place it's very very cold because uh, are too much mm -hmm. uh, trees uh, y vegetación entonces yes so cold yeah. yes mm -hmm. do you say there are yeah. too much or there is too much okay thank you Teacher, ¿y qué se hizo mi compañera con la que estaba? Sí, ah. Uh, okay. Disculpe, yo, uh, yo creo que... que ya se desconectó. Que por otro lugar, a usar. <risa> ok. Pero nos quedamos ella y yo. Después, ¿qué, ah. ¿qué se hizo? 
Ay, qué chistoso. Sí, creo que por uh, tratar de asignar al otro que estaba entrando, la asigné a usted, al grupo. Ah, ah bueno. Sorry about that. Ok, no problem. Ok, well, for the CIMA, I yes. visit, I visit in 2014 that place is beautiful and the view ah. for the capital is beautiful is ah, yes, yes, yes. uh -huh. is the yonic i think unico yes yonic mm -hmm. yeah. a pretty view a pretty view yeah yes exactly you want to talk about about me i have to refer was i was i was yes. for, for my answer was he sick last night estuvo el enfermo anoche was he sick last night yes yes he yes he was he was where uh, where where we friendly friendly no sé cómo se pronuncia with the neighbor sorry and friendly 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 okay okay friendly where we friendly with neighbor um, with the neighbors neighbors somos um, amigables uh, con los vecinos uh, um, nosotros this, this is in the, the simple past uh, were we were we friend, friendly were neighbors yeah no no we weren't no we weren't we weren't friendly were you paint a picture um, were you paint or did you paint huh? paint Paint. It's the verb, paint. right? So do you say, paint. were you paint or did you paint? Is paint and no es verbo? Paint. Yes, correct. Paint. Paint is a verb, pintar, right? So yes. do you say, were you paint or did you paint? Mm -hmm. Yes. A picture. What, what what which one which one is it Anna? Were you paint or did you paint? Did you paint? Uh, and in this case, this on the five sentences with was or were, and. ¿Cómo sería entonces, teacher? Did did you paint? Did did you paint a picture or? Okay, in this case, you have to be using the, um, uh, the did because paint is the one of the 99.9% .9 of the verbs. So you always use did. Only use was a word if there is no other verb. If the verb is be, only that. O sea, en otras palabras, con todos los verbos use did. Solo use was or were si el verbo es be. Ah, ok. Con todos ¿Does that make sense, Ana? Los did verbos did. usar did. Solo con be se usa was or were. Yeah. Only with the verb be, yes, correct. Solo con el verbo be se usa 
was where. It's clear, teacher. Good. Eh, eh, hoy tú o, o hacemos la de la el otro deber. Um, uh... Okay, great, excellent. Okay, so I think the majority of you had opportunity of asking questions. Um, just remember that with all the verbs, we use did, okay? So, did you work, did you paint, did you wash, did you play, did you write, did you read, did you learn, etc., etc. Did you eat, did you watch, did you drink? Did you swim? Etc. 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 All the verbs you're gonna use did. The only one when we use was or were is with the verb be. Okay, that's it. Okay, it's the exception. Okay, um, and with the verb to be, you don't use another verb. So never say was you watch. Were you play? Uh, no, not possible. Okay. Okay, and remember That's to point answer. Point. If the if the question is, did you work? You're gonna yes. You're gonna say yes. I did. Not yes. I was. Because they are asking you it with the auxiliary did. So the same auxiliary for the question, the same auxiliary for the answer. Okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, good. All right, guys, uh, we still have a few more minutes of class. So in these last minutes, and we're going to be learning about how to describe, uh, or better said, how to ask about things that exist in a city. Okay, so let's talk about that. Tell me if you can see the board. I can see. Okay, good. Um, oops. All right, so we're going to start. Um, okay, so let's start talking about um just give me one second yeah okay all right so let's talk about um you're asking or asking about things in a city All right, so let's talk, if we are asking about things in a city, um, well, think about how you describe what exists in a city. So in a city, we can say there is a museum, there are four parks, there are many churches, there is a hospital, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So, Normally, we're going to be using um, there is 
or there are. Right? Okay, so that's normally how we're going to be. He is there, right? There is and there are. Basically, for there is, we're going to be using things that are singular. Okay? So this is for singular things. Okay? And there are, we would be using it for plural, right? That's that's for describing things, not for asking. This is only for describing. Okay? So the same thing happens when we are, that this is for describing things when we're asking, we're going to do the exact same thing except that we're going to, instead of, we're going to be switching around. So instead of saying there is, we're going to say is there. Okay? So that's, that's the main thing we're going to be doing here with questions. So instead of saying is there, sorry, there is, we're going to say is there. Let me make this bold. Okay, is there. Okay. And we're going to be using over here. Instead of saying there are, we're going to say are there. Okay. All right. Give me a moment. Okay, is that okay? Do we understand this? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So, um, again, this is, remember, this is with singular, this is with plural, okay? So, uh, if you are asking about a city, okay, what exists in a city? then we can, or a city or a town, right? We can say, for example, is there, and then we're gonna continue, I'm gonna continue the question with, um, uh, ah, sorry about that. Let me change this look back again. weird. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Um, so let's ask about different things. Um, so let's ask about, is there a, um, is there a, an airport? Is there an airport? Um, is there an airport? We can say, is there a museum? Or is there a, um, a public bathroom? That's a very good one because especially when you are in a new city and you are visiting the city, you want to know, you know, about a bathroom where, where, where you can find a public bathroom, right? Okay, so that's a very common question. Okay, so, um, oh, sorry, um, let me, okay, a public bathroom near here. Pharmacy. Yeah, a pharmacy, yes, definitely. That's another one that you are going to need, especially if you're visiting a city for the first time. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so um, now, so is there an airport, is there a museum, is there a public bathroom near here, or is there a pharmacy, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera, okay. Now, what questions can you ask if you are asking, are there? Well. Um, in this case, what we're going to do is most, when we're asking about um, 
we're asking about uh, plural things. Normally, we don't just keep it as are there, but we say are there any. Normally, we add that any. The word any is used for questions in English, okay? Questions and negatives, okay? So, are there any, all right? And in this case, we can ask about, for example. Restaurant. Yeah, very good, okay. Are there any restaurants? Restaurants. It's like I say, hay algún. Yeah, exactly. Are there any, it's like, hay algún restaurante, exactly. It's just that in English, um, after any, we use plural. In Spanish, we don't. We, after algún, we would, um, or we would say algún or algunos, right? Hay algunos restaurantes por acá, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. But yes, okay? But in the case of of, question, of any, we would ask them with, with, um, uh, with uh, plural forms, okay? So is there a, a shopping a, center? Yeah. Any okay, good. Any pharmacies? We can add the pharmacies here. Uh, shopping centers or uh, shopping malls. Normally we say shopping malls. Okay. Well, shopping mall. Yeah. And and then we say near around here. We could say around here. Oh. Get this one around here okay around here means um it's very similar to near here okay so you can you can ask any one of those questions okay um just the church. gas station supermarket Yeah, very good. Yeah. And, and the, the list can go on. There are many, many possibilities, right? Many, many different things that you can answer that you can ask about. Okay. So this would just be um, plural, right? Are there any restaurants around here? Um, are there any pharmacies around here? Are there any shopping malls around here? Are there any? Um, a, yeah, hospitals around here, anything at all. Okay. Now, how are you going to answer? What if, if somebody asks you the, this question um, or what answer can you expect? Um, you would, well, is there, is there an airport where around, I'm near here? Then you would expect what, uh, the answer as, just give me a moment. <clears throat> So we can say yes, and here we're going to, because the question is, is there, okay, we're going to continue, okay, we're going to answer yes, and we're going to say yes, there is, okay, so we're going to answer because the question is, is there, we're going to answer it, yes, there is. Okay. All right. So that, that's, that's how we would normally answer a question. Um, okay. That it's affirmative. Okay. Now, um, so is there an airport near her or is there a museum near her? And then we would say, yes, yes there is. Um, there, there's one, okay, there's one, and um, when I say one, when I say one, it, it's just like in Spanish, right? The one refers to the thing that you're asking about. There's one, and then you can say, um, for example, um, there's in front. a front of the um, gas station, for example. There's one in front of the craft station. Okay. 
So it's like, and so when you say there's one, one refers to uno, right? It's like when you say in Spanish, eh, si sí, hay uno enfrente, uno de qué? Uno de la cosa que está preguntando, right? So it's the same idea in English here, okay? The same thing over here. Um, oh, sorry, I'm just gonna change this so that. Twins. Um, Okay, so that's a yes. Now we can also answer no, and if it's no, we're going to say, oops, sorry, 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 let me take that back. Um, there isn't. Okay, so you can say, no, there isn't. Okay. Um, but there's, and once again, we can refer to the thing that you're asking about as one. There's one. And then we can we can give another direction. Could be, for example, there's one. Um, there's one. Um, uh, let's say on yeah, let's say on Main Street. Okay. So, is there a museum? Is there a museum near here? No, there isn't. But there's one on Main Street. Okay, Main Street is just an, which is just the name of the street. Nor the, in every city, there's going to be a place that's called Main Street. Every city. Okay, en cualquier en cualquier ciudad donde se va va a haber una calle que se llama Main Street. Okay, it's like saying la calle principal. Okay, so um, yeah, so this is the way you would ask for uh, for, for uh, the questions for singular. Okay, now let's talk about uh, questions for uh, plural. So if you say, are there any restaurants? We can say yes, and then over here. Yes, there are. Okay, in this case, we're going to always answer are, not is, because the question is about something plural, right? Okay. Um, yes, there are. There are. And then over here, we are going, to, we're not going to say one because one is only for singular. In this case, it's plural, right? So we can't say there are, there are one. We're going to say there are some. Instead of saying one, we're going to say there are some. Okay. So there are some. Um, so are there any restaurants around here? Yes, there are some. Um, some uh, and shopping mall. Uh, yeah, it uh, on Park Avenue. Um, let's say, um, 
um, there are some in close to the there's some close to the mall let's see there's some close to the mall okay so are there any restaurants yes there are some close to the mall okay um, or maybe we would say no okay so in this case we could say no and again we're going to be using no there in this case it's not no there there are it would be no there aren't right because it's, it's negative so, yeah, so no there aren't um okay no there aren't and no there aren't let me just give me a moment no there aren't but there are and again we're not we're going to be using the word some right to refer to the thing that you're describing okay okay no there aren't let's say pharmacies right are there any pharmacies uh around here and you can say no there aren't but there are some okay and then we can say um there are some where where could we put them um there are some um on no between let's say between the um between um let me see there are some between the the park and the um, in the hospital okay in the hospital yeah that's that sounds good that that actually makes a lot a lot of sense <laughs> to be near the 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 um the pharmacies would be near the hospital so uh, there's there's some between the park and the hospital okay um, and there is also possible to say no okay or simply if you don't want to give if you have no idea where there are anymore um, then you would just say no and then um, no there are no there aren't and in this case if we're just gonna say no there aren't it oops yeah it's giving me a hard time right now So weird. Okay. No, there aren't. There we go. No, there aren't. And then in this case, we're going to be using again the negative. Okay. Uh, because it's negative, we can say any. We can say there aren't any. And then we continue with the rest of the sentence. In this case, there aren't any around here. Okay. Um, there you go. No, there aren't any around here. Okay. So um, something that you will you can notice is that um, we we use we can use um, the we can use. Um, information about where like where it is um, located um, for example we have in front you probably already noticed that actually I'm going to make this a little bit small 
Okay, so we have in front of, okay. We can use on, oh. We can use, oh, no. We can use um, close to, between, and, right? We always put between da 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 and da da da, right? Whatever. Around here. Or around here, yes. Very good. Around here. Um, yeah. Okay. So that, that's some of the, of the words that we can use to describe the location of different places. And other words that we can use, I'll put them over here in the corner. Other words we can use, or better said, yeah. Um, we can use, uh, for example, um, next to, okay, next to. Um, we can use uh, close to, oh no, well, close to where we, near it's near we can say near we can say across from across from we can say opposite opposite means um right on, on the other side let's see uh, we can say uh, in front of, well, I think in front of is already there. Yeah, we have already in front of. Uh, we can say in in back of, or in the back of, or um, another one that is very similar to in back of is um, behind. Okay. Um, Behind. Behind is very similar. Behind. We use between and on the corner. On the corner of. Okay. Or caddy corner. That's another one. Caddy corner. Do you know what caddy corner is? Cardi quarter is a la, la esquina opuesta, right? Oh. Okay. So those are some words that you can use other than in front of. Oh. These are some, right? In front of, close to, between, um, between and around here. And then those, these are extra ones, okay? Any questions okay. about this? Anything you want to ask me about this? I have a question, teacher. Okay. And what is the difference about close to e and near? Near. Yeah. Um, really, there is no, um, I wouldn't say that there's a difference. I wouldn't say there's really much of a difference. Um, it's just uh, whatever you prefer to, to say. If you prefer to um, uh, to say the close to or near, it's okay. It's up to you. But it's it's like it's like saying um, like what I told you. Um, um, like for example, um, in the back of behind, they're very similar. Okay. Um, so you, you decide across from opposite, they are also very similar. So you can decide which one it's up to you. Does that answer your question? No question. No teacher. Okay, guys. So that is going to be all then. Um, for today, um, I 
um, I'm going to well um, I'm going to ask you actually um, to you I ha we didn't have a chance there to um, to look at the, the sentences the seven sentences I asked you to do for homework so instead um, what I'm going to ask you to do is maybe send it to me so that I can I can review it and and give you any any pointers anything that I can help you with okay so that's that's all you're gonna do and you can start working on the platform uh, making sure that you're finished um, section two you should be finished by now we have covered everything for section two all right Okay, so that will be all, everybody. It's good to see you, and I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? All right, so take care. Enjoy this beautiful weather. See you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 B